It's me, Ian, and this is help. My supply teacher is magic. We've fooled hundreds of you guys by swapping regular teachers with magicians. And we've been secretly filming the results with special cameras we've hidden in the classroom. That's more ingenious than a genius genie. We've got loads of other great tricks, like this one. Now watch I turn this ordinary potato into a fish. Swim fishy! Swim, swim, swim fishy. I think it's, I think it's asleep. <laughs> Here's what's coming up. Fishy. John is going undercover to cause mayhem in this class of year five. Ooh. Look, something's pulling him around the classroom, but will he have the whole class off their seats in amazement? We're going to teach you a magic trick so you can fool your friends. Grab a pencil, a piece of paper, a 1p, a 2p and some scissors. And you can join in. Catherine turns paper into money and amazes this lot in undercover magic. I think they should cover it. And if you want to take part in the interactive illusion, you need paper and a pen. And if you want to make things even easier, grab a calculator. Plus, you've been sending in clips of all your best magic tricks, and later on, I'll be picking my five favourites. Will you be one of my wannabe wizards? Do you think you'd be able to tell if your teacher started doing magic? Do you? This is John. He loves milk, and he's a cool cat in his own mind. He's got magic skills, though, and he's going to use them undercover as a supply teacher. The hidden cameras are set. Is it your school? Is it your class? Let's find out. Year five are about to have an amazing lesson about very small animals, but they don't know what the big secret is. And that is we've hidden cameras in every corner of their classroom, and they're about to see some incredible magic. They don't know they're being filmed, though, so keep the noise down. Good morning, boys and girls. I, I thought I'd teach you a little bit about animals. And I love animals, and the reason I love animals is because my wife works in a zoo. Now, it has some advantages. It does mean that when she comes home, she smells a bit. However, she gets to bring some of the smaller, friendlier animals home. And uh, I've actually brought one of these animals with me. Actually, when I say I've brought one of them, I've brought lots and lots of them. It is called the Peruvian almond fly. They're very, very small. In fact, they're so small, they're invisible to the naked eye. And they live in big groups, in a swarm. And uh, I brought some with me. This isn't a big swarm, this is just a small group uh, of flies. And I, I thought I'd, I'd let you see them. Do you want to see them? They're nodding. They must believe he's a real teacher. Would you? Hopefully, we may be able to have a look at them. I've got them in this little container here. Those are the Peruvian almond flies. The insects don't really exist, do they, John? It's all part of your trick. But it is a good one. There are about 5,000 of them in there. It is possible to get these out, but I've got to keep control of them under this little piece of cloth. And I, I just wondered, do you mind if I get them out and show you them? Is that all right? They're very, very well behaved. But I, uh, I need somebody to come and hold the container for me. There's no shortage of volunteers. He's got the class completely taken in. Well, you look like you might be good. Come on out here. What's your name? Anya. Anya doesn't know it yet, but she's about to become a magician's assistant. Now, Anya, can you, can you feel the flies just flying around in there a little bit? Yeah, you can feel them flying around. The... She thinks she can feel them, but she can't really. It's part of the trick. Can you see any of them? No, that's because they're invisible to the naked eye. But, but we can get them out and have a look at them. If I just open this, they shouldn't fly out. They should just stay on the leaves. Now, if you listen carefully, you can sometimes hear them. They make a noise a little bit like the meowing of a cat, except silent. What? If I just put this cloth over there like that, and what we should be able to do is I should be able to wake them up and see if we can get them to come out. So just a little tap. The class not only believe the Peruvian almond flies exist, but that they're about to fly around the room. Let's try it again. Oh, there they are. Whoa, there, there they are. They're out now. There, now, now. Whoa, they're, they're a little bit live. They, they will eventually calm down. They just, they just like to do that. OK, now that's good. Now that's good. They're, they're very, very calm. If they get ex... Whoa! If they... Whoa, they must be strong to shift John around, except that's some amazing acting there, mate. I just wonder, Anya, if I, if I just lift that up, can you have a look? Can you see them? No, it's difficult to see them, isn't it? They're, whoa! They're quite... They're, they're quite... They're quite... They're way... Oh, dear me! I nearly lost them there. They are... They are... They are very... Whoa! Very... They're very... Very loud. If I just pull them back now, 
I'm going to try and let you have a look. When they're in a big group like this, when they're in a big group, it is possible to see them. If I just lift that up and you have a look, can you, can you see that? Ah. Oh. They've escaped. No, They've got out. I bet the class feels itchy already. Can anybody see them? No. OK, they're just above your head. They're just above your head. Keep still. Oh, no, they've moved. They've moved. They're over there. They're over there now. Oh, they've landed. Keep still. No, they're up again. They're up again. I'm going to... They're here. They're here. No, they're not there either. Um... Ha, 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 ha. I've got them. I've got them. No, I haven't. Um... Oh, I see them. I see them now. There they are. There they are. They're coming over. Oh, they're a bit high. They're coming down. They're coming down. Here they are. Here they are. There. There. They're just there. I'm going to get them. Keep... Keep still, I'm gonna get them. Perfect, there we are, we've got them. He's convinced the class he's caught them. Great skills. Now, woo! It's all right. Now, I'm gonna try and put them back in the box. They're quite loud. I'm gonna put, try and put them back in the box. The insects are not only invisible, they're not really there. It's all been an amazing trick. It's time for John to reveal his big secret. Close them up like that. Wonderful, we've got them. Now, I have got a little bit of a confession to make. Um, my wife doesn't actually work in a zoo. Although sometimes when she comes home from work, she does smell a bit. Uh, and in fact, uh, I'm not a real teacher. I'm a magician. And your teachers and your parents have set you up to be filmed on a secret magic show called Help My Supply Teacher's Magic. And there's hidden cameras in the classroom filming you. We've got one up there, and we've got another one in that box over there. And there's one over here in this box here. And there's another one in this box over here. So you can give them all a wave. They're loving it, look! He did it! John's brilliant invisible insect trick totally filled the class. At the start of the lesson, I thought that he was really cool and I wanted him to be my teacher next year. He got the pretend insects out of the jar. His volunteer Anya could feel them even though they didn't exist. It was really funny uh, when he started running around. John made the class think the insects had escaped. So just above your head. He caught them again to the excitement of the class. I thought he was real. John pulled it off. The class had no idea he was a magician. Would you realise your supply teacher was magic? <laughs> Later on, James will also be going undercover as a supply teacher. He's got goldfish that can spell. Oh, wow. But will the class suspect something fishy's going on? But first, John's going to teach you the secret behind a trick you can try at home. If you fancy yourself as a magician, here's a trick you can try on your mates. You need a pencil, a piece of paper, a 1P, a 2P, and some scissors. Have you got them already? Go and get them now. Go on. Meanwhile, John will wait here for you. Got them? OK. First, draw around the 1P on the piece of paper and cut out the circle. Remember to be careful. So you have a penny-sized hole cut in the paper. The challenge now is to push the 2P through the hole. But the hole is only the size of a 1P. How is it going to fit? Can you work it out? If you want to find out how it's done, we'll show you later in the show. This is Catherine. She never leaves an audience shortchanged and is about to impress a lucky group at the museum. show you is one of the oldest magic tricks in the world. I've got one, two, three, four separate solid silver rings. Now, what I'd like you to do, Ben, is Nick, could you just pop your finger across here for me? Does that feel solid? It does feel solid, doesn't it? And can all of you hear the sound of the metal tapping? Yeah. You can hear that, can't you? So we know that it's solid. But the strange thing is, even though it's solid, one ring will literally link one. How does she do that? So we've got one ring linked up, two rings linked she up. She's done it again! Three And again! Linked up. Now, can everyone here see the Mickey Mouses? Yeah. yeah, can you see them? Good. Don't take your eyes off of them. We can see them. They're definitely linked. And now they're not awesome. Two and two. Now, has anyone here ever felt like a superhero before? You can be the superhero. What I want you to do is blow whenever you're ready and you're going to blow these two metal rings apart. 
Wow, we blew the rings apart from over there. Can I get a rewind? Have you ready? That trick was a breath of fresh air. And I really just came apart. It was pretty amazing, really. I still don't know how, you, how it comes off. I just didn't know what happened. But right now, we have something amazing for you. This is the interactive illusion. This is a trick where you can take part at home, but you'll need to come a little bit... Perfect. Here is Fergus. His hair might be messy, but his hands are quick and his mind is sharp. Grab your pen, paper and calculator and get involved. Now, we have a very special guest who's going to do a trick for you guys at home. It's the Queen. Well, kind of. The Queen is going to read your mind. But first of all, we need a random thought for her to pick up on. So at home, grab a pen and paper and write down any three-digit number, but where each individual number is different. So, 432, 875, 642, you get the idea. Have you got one? OK. Now reverse that number. So if you wrote down 752, you'll now have 257. Now take away the smaller number from the bigger number. In our example, 752 minus 257. Don't worry, you can use your calculator to help you. I'll definitely need mine. Whatever answer you now have, reverse that. We'd have 495, which would reverse to 594. Now add those last two numbers together. We'd add 495 to 594. I'm going to wait whilst you do that. OK, great. Now, keep that number to yourself. Don't tell anyone. The Queen is going to read your mind and tell you what number you're thinking of. There you go. The Queen thinks that you're thinking of the number 1089. Pretty amazing. Did it work for you? Remember, don't write on any banknotes at home. Wow. Fergus and the Queen. It's just a matter of time before she says, Arise, Sir Fergus. Every week, we are bringing you the top five chart of the new magicians on the block. Me and my recliner, we go way back. I've got my sweets. I've got my laptop. Bring on the wizards. We ask you to send in clips of yourself performing your best magic tricks. We receive loads of clips from all over the country. Each week, I will be choosing my five favorite wannabe wizards and showing them to you guys. Number five this time is James from Shrewsbury with some amazing sleight of hand. There's nothing between those fingers and nothing in that hand. What he's doing here is magic, so keep watching those fingers. A little puff of magic here, there. And now he's throwing nothing into the empty hand. Whoa, he made a coin appear out of nowhere. Good skills, but this next guy makes me laugh out loud. It's Oscar from Mortlake. Whoa! Let's see that from this side. Just as cool. And from the back. <laughs> and from the back just gets me every time. But that's not all he can do. This next trick involves these two paddles and a fly on each. Now, the interesting thing about these flies is if you just swap. Whoa, you see that? One fly jumped to the other paddle. And just like that. And now it's going back again. There's no flies on Oscar. That was nice, and this is dice. Lawrence from Birmingham. This is great. Watch the dice in the box. Which side is it in? It's not in that side. 
And it's not in that side either. I know you know it's gone, but do you know how? You think he's sliding it from side to side, don't you? But watch this. Pow! The dice man coming. Great, but if he'd played his cards right, he'd been at number two. I need the card selected. So this is the hands of Savas from Beckenham. Stop, eh? Yeah. He's also got a hand from someone else. It's a seven of diamonds, remember that. Once you... Oh, once you've done that, just place it face up. Okay, now I need to use your hand. So, hands. So, yeah, so, so, so it's like a sandwich. Mm, seven of diamonds and hand sandwich, my favourite. Stay with Savas as he counts the cards. Five, now, you need to six, remember that seven, card too. Four, four, it's the four of clubs. Um, seven, Something really amazing is about six, to happen. Four clubs, and I'll wave it. And once I've done that, I get both backs. See, I told you. That's great, but there's more. It's still the seven of diamonds, but wait for it. Wow, it's now the four of clubs on the back. That's crazy business. Who's my favourite, though? I'm not going to tell you yet. Not before I put on my funny chart show voice. At five, it's James and his appearing coin. And Oscar's detachable head is going up at four. Dice swap from Lawrence puts him at three. And the two-sided cards of Savas got him to number two. His trick was nearly my favourite, but out of the tons of clips of one of my wizards, my top one this time was Sebastian from Leeds. And he's borrowed his mum's best wine glass and tablecloth. Uh, try and get all the good cards, and the good cards are considered the aces, yeah? And uh, I'm going to show you now how I get the aces. So we'll see what we can do with this red nine to try and get everything. The nine of hearts is at the front of the glass. He does this magic, and it's now the Ace of Hearts. That was no fluke. Check it out. The Nine of Hearts again this time, but the Ace of Diamonds. The Nine of Clubs. I was pretending it went wrong. See? One more time. And to prove why he wins the cup, he's going to turn it into... The Ace of Space. Nice one, Seb. That was Ace. Can't wait until next time for more Wannabe Wizards. There's another trick that you guys can use on your friends. I mean, I love magic, especially the big stuff. So today, I'm going to make this pile of boxes completely disappear using magic. And uh, this detonator. <laughs> Sorry about this. Hello? <laughs> Health and safety. <laughs> What's in the boxes? <laughs> Only fireworks. <laughs> ah, see, when you put it like that, it does sound dangerous. Um, <laughs> I won't be a minute. Here's what's coming up. Have you worked out the secret to John's challenge? If you haven't already got a pencil, a piece of paper, a penny, a two p and some scissors, go and get them now. Go on, hurry. Is my fish. Watch what happens when James goes undercover in another school. Chips. Could it be your class? Could your supply teacher be magic? In Undercover Magic, we hide cameras in all sorts of places. Our magicians play tricks on members of the public who don't know they're being filmed. Catherine is in this cafe to play a trick on Luke, Alice, Louie and Jay. They've been set up by Alice and Luke's mum and they have no idea what's about to happen. Catherine's about to pay for a coffee. Hang on a minute, that's, that's not money, that's loads of pages cut out from magazines. She, she can't pay with that. Excuse me. Hi, sorry to bother you. Um, I don't have any change left. Do you know if they accept notes here? Yeah, sure. They do? Okay, well, that's good. It's just that I can't seem to figure out how much these are worth. They all look exactly the same. I'll tell you. Catherine knows that the paper's worth nothing. You think I have enough? They do too, but I think they're being polite. Watch closely, trick coming up. Whoa, the paper turned into real money. Can I get a rewind? Old magazines to new tenors. That's the kind of recycling I like. Thanks very much. See you later. They can't believe what just happened. He had some kind of 
car and she just turned it into money. Here we go. That should cover it. See you later. I've seen magic before, but not like that. It's the moment you've been waiting for, a chance for you to learn how to fool your friends. Me and John challenge you to push this coin through the tiny hole. Come on, have you worked it out? How many have you got it? Maybe you think you could tear the paper. Uh -uh, that's not allowed. Come on, John, let's see it. Ah, very funny. Pushing the 2P through the hole. That's not the real secret, though, is it? Here's how. You fold the paper in half and drop the 2P into the hole. Then fold the top corners up and the 2P drops through. Let's get a rewind. You fold the paper in half and drop the 2P into the hole. Then fold the top corners up and the 2P drops through. Did you get it? Are you amazing already? Now you've all got something to show off with in the playground. This is James, the Mr. Mysterious of Magicians. He's going undercover as a supply teacher to do an incredible trick. Is it your school? Is it your class? And will this class realise that their supply teacher is magic? Let's find out. Here's a year six class. They don't know it yet, but James is about to take a lesson that puts a magic spell into spelling. None of the class suspect that there are cameras hidden in every corner of their classroom or realise that James is not a real teacher. But can he keep it up? Good morning, class. We're going to be doing a project on the kind of animals that we'll be keeping at home. Would this uh, be your pet project, James? I have brought my pets in today. Look at that girl's raised eyebrows. Are you ready? Would you like to meet them? Yeah. What's under there? I can't wait. Here they are. Is my fish. Ta-da! It's goldfish. And not just that, they're magic. She's so excited, she's playing the air drums. I have taught my fish to do a very special trick. You can't teach an old dog new tricks, but you can teach a goldfish a trick, apparently. I've taught them how to spell. Hang on a minute, what did you just say? Let's rewind. Ooh. I've taught them how to spell. That's what I thought he said. How on earth will James get the goldfish to spell? I've got to see this. We did it using flashcards. So we've got words like computer, apple, got aeroplane. So would you like to see them do the trick? OK, how about we uh, take one of these? James has given the pupil a word for the fish to spell. Down on the table like this, because if the fish see, then they can cheat, can't they? How do you spell that? Now. Surely even if they saw, they forget within seconds. Obviously they can't talk, can they, because they're fish. So, in order to tell you how they spell words, we're going to have to use these letter cards. We've got uh, little tiles with, like, E. Apparently, they're going to spell using these letter cards. G. Yeah, right. And what I do is I drop these into the bowl. Now, if you have goldfish at home, you must remember not to do this at home. You heard the man. Don't be trying this on your goldfish at home. And then last one, so in these ones, we've got V and Q. How in God's name will the fish spell? What will they spell? So they've got their letter tiles. We've got a word. Have you looked at it yet? No? OK, for the first time, for everybody in the room, what word did you choose? Chips. Chips. <laughs> chips. Yeah. Like fish and chips. Yeah. It's a bit of a cruel word for fish, isn't it? Fish and chips. Chips? That's not good. Hope okay, that so doesn't hurt the poor goldfish's feelings. I'm not going to... I'm going to do this so they don't see. Look, they're trying to see. They're trying to peek. Stop peeking. OK, so chips. I'm not going to call the letters out in case they hear. Is that right? All right. OK, guys, here's the moment of truth. What do you think? Can we have the first letter of chips? Chips, please. Chips. Whoa, oh, the fish really can really spell. Really Unbelievable. Awesome. So we're one down, one down. OK, OK. What about the second letter? We're looking for the second letter of chips. <laughs> wow. This is a spelling bee like I've never seen. How about a bit of a drum roll on the desk for this next one? I love a good desk drum roll. Oh, they got it. I. They got it. Keep it going, keep it going. The next one, please. We're looking for the next one of chips. Yay! Excellent. Now, one more. They've got one more to go. One more to go. Oh, they got it! Hey. That was the best trick 
ever. Those fish would be great at Scrabble. They're incredible. Does anybody have any questions about what you've just seen? Yes? The class suspects something fishy is going on. So is that is that fake? Is that fake, guys? He's calling you a fake. Are we fakes? What do you think? Oh. oh. No, it is most certainly is not fake. Not only no. can those fish spell, they've also got a great sense of humour. Actually, I've got to come clean, actually. Um, it's time for James to spell out what's actually just happened. I'm not really a teacher. I'm a magician. And not only that, in that silver box there, and just there, if you want to give a little wave, and the silver box at the back, you are currently being filmed for a new TV show on CBBC called Help, My Supply Teacher is Magic. What do you think? Look at their surprise when they realise they've been set up. He did it! James has totally tricked the class. Chips, please. Chips. First, James got the fish to spell chips. Oh, wow. I was really amazed and I, was, I didn't believe it. But then when I saw it, I was wondering how did they do that? Is that fake, guys? He's calling you a fake. Are we fakes? Oh. Then the fish spelt no to fool the class even further. It's not fake. I was like, wow, this is amazing. James pulled it off. The class had no idea he was a magician. We totally got them and they loved it. See you next week. But remember, if your teacher suddenly starts working wonders, you may need to shout, help! My supply teacher is magic! Do, do, do.